Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and today's 100 day project is uh, day 24, holy wow. Okay, so day 24 was suggested by Amy and Paper Art Alessandra and it's an era or a period of time. So, oh yeah. Um, so I've chosen the Renaissance. It's one of my favourite periods. And um, I don't know if all of you know, but I was a tour guide in Florence. I studied antique trade and marketing there, like kind of like fine arts there for two years at a restoration school. And it's definitely one of my favourite periods of time as far as art is concerned obviously there were hardships for people so I've got all these kinds of books this is all of this reminds me of the renaissance here um this is a painting oh yeah I didn't I don't think I studied him um yeah from mid 1400s to 1500s and and I'm sure most of you know the the name renaissance comes from renascita the word renascita which means rebirth so it was the rebirth after um this is by Vittore Carpaccio um after the dark ages where man became illuminated again started to know things that they had lost from um 1909 oh this is nice I forgot I bought this um so it's a quarter rassegna d'arte oh and I got that painting too um yeah so so yeah they started to study things again because everything was lost after um lots of renaissance in here um everything was lost after the um romans because the church was afraid of learning so they a little bit of need to clean it up a little bit um yeah the church was afraid of learning so um you can see the difference here this is um Giotto this is so this is still in the medieval period and then this is in the renaissance so you, it's very flat and then you get a sense of volume and shading and um, you can see the drapery and all that sort of thing um, and I don't think I'll use this one see look at that too isn't that beautiful oh I love that so that brings me that what I could be inspired for from that is in Steffi. I've got Steffi's kit that he did from my antique books. Let me just grab it. It's just here. Here it is. So we might use some of these. Um, they kind of remind me of the illuminated manuscripts. And, um, you know, this sort of thing definitely reminds me of the Renaissance, this sort of design there. So, yep, that, we'll be using those. So I'll put those out. Of course, I can use um, some of our last Italian kit. That was just my cro crocodile. We can use some of my last Italian kit because that was in Florence and that's pretty much where they say was um, where the Renaissance started. So maybe we'll get... That's my, um, that's my latest botanical kit, but we don't want that one. We want... Let's see if I've got... Oh, no, it's not. I'm putting it in the wrong spot. Oh, get it out of there. That's my other printer piece. Okay, it's down here. Just a second. See, I've been procrastinating again today, so so this is how I am. And that, well, oh, this is very Renaissance, so we'll pull that out. I'm typical Renaissance doorway there. That was Steffi's architectural kit. I'll put that one aside. Um, I, don't, I need to print that one up again. I don't think I've got heaps of that one left. We'll be doing some collaging. I'll pull all of those out for collaging purposes. Oh, look at that. That's a good one. Yeah, so they restudied all of the learnings from the Romans. And so that's when you see they start to bring in, you know, the um, typical columns and um, all of these, the grotesques. They were typical. So 
we'll just pull out a few i probably could have done this before but i wanted to i like to explain where my source of inspiration comes from they're lulu's pages those aside okay and i probably have some more in here oh, here yes here they are so i've always got a million a million printouts of them pull all those out okay so i think i'm ready to go if something like that's good to rip up that shouldn't even be in there okay i think we can get started oh that's a good one too that's from the other kit and we might need some collage sort of pages other collage pages i don't know what i'm going to do uh, I think I was, I you know, I procrastinate because I think I have to um, always do something really inventive every time I do a video. Um, and that's what sort of slows me down and makes me not do things. So today I've just decided I'm just going to get on with it. Okay, so I thought the first thing I might do, and I did get out some Medieval Mirage because... Um, and as Jaff has explained to me, it's not, it's called Medieval Mirage, um, but a lot of things that Jaff um, uses, she's, she takes from all, um, from, from medieval times and the Renaissance. Um, and she just chose, she called it, called it Mirage because um, it's a mirage, like it's a mix. That's what I want to say. I might pull, oh, this one's already cut, so... I'll just pull out a few. I won't. I won't go cray cray using everything. I might pull out that one to rip up. That one's already. See, there's Leonardo. That's Leonardo's famous drawing there. Um, so yeah, Jaff's kits are a mirage, a mirage between two uh, several periods of time. But the feel of them. That's her, the, you know she has a certain feel about them. I might even want to cut those flowers out. So this is Medieval Odyssey. Um, now, uh, I did get a question, uh, was it on my um, design, uh, no, on one, of, on one of my older videos recently, um, you know, uh, could you create a, a, a journal from um, one of Jaff's, you know, from one of Jaff's kit, kits? Absolutely. Like, you know, I just use Sweet Serenity as you saw, and I didn't even use it all. And I made uh, a journal out of that. So, um, absolutely. They, I mean, Jaff, I know they're a little bit more expensive than other people's, but there's a lot in them, as you can see. And this is, I mean, I've been, I've used a lot of this. This is Medieval Odyssey Volume 1. I've used so much of it. Um, so, yeah, so um, you absolutely can. Um get a journal out of one of Jaff's kits especially if you buy one of the bigger ones I mean look at all look what's in there this I mean not all of that some of it I've printed on um, darker paper and lighter paper but there's so much in there that could be nice to use to add a bit of color so I'm just pulling a few bits out of the medieval odyssey um, base kit and then the add-on kit I mean and then if you get the add-on kit you've got that much stuff to play around with it's just um, you won't even know where to start. I'll grab that. I mean, look at me. I can't help myself. I'm just pulling everything out. Um, I don't think I'll use all of it. I, won't, I don't want to pull out too much. Um, but I did want to pull out this paper here. This one here. This is add-on add -on volume two. And I do like these. I don't know if I'll pull them out because I don't know if I'll use them I like that. Um, some of them might be a little bit... See, I think that's more Renaissance, looking at the drawings, but I don't know. And this is definitely not... This is not... I don't think this is um, medieval because look at the drapery on there. So... I don't know. That's a from a tapestry. I think it looks like. Anyway, I'll put that aside. We're going. We get. I get. I get sidetracked. And then I have these. I showed you those. And then I bought. I just grabbed this book. 
Um, these are great. 1935. I, I usually put pages of these um, in uh, my in my um, paper packs. So that yeah, that's yeah, that's totally different. Oh, there's a bit of drapery there, but that's um, the 1330s. That's Sienna. See, these are all um, 1300s. Simona Martini. And then it will go on further to the Renaissance, it should. We'll just keep on keeping on. Here we go. Oh no, that's not. That that is. This see see these um this brickwork here. I don't know if you can see it, and this sort of thing here. Um, this is typical of the Renaissance, this, this here. Um, and then here you can see also um, sort of studying the, you know, all the balance and the columns and the architraves and all those things taken from the Roman architecture. I can't think of the words in English. Anyway, we'll just see where it takes us. Oh, and then I've got this. Um, I had this big book. This is Botticelli. Obviously, that image is way too big to use, but I thought these were lovely. They're some of his beautiful flowers. So I think we'll... I don't know what I'm going to make. What am I going to make? Maybe I'll make... Um, I thought I might make a journal page. I'm just going to grab a tea dyed paper and see what comes to mind. Let's fold it over. I don't know. I'd like to make something to go on the journal page. Let me have a little think about it. See, I would make those into, I mean, you could fussy cut those, or I would make them into journaling cards. Um, see, now I've confused myself, haven't I? Too much stuff so what would I like to put on the journal page I probably would like to put a pocket belly band what else do we put on journal pages we put on mm hmm see that would be a very nice belly band wouldn't it we do flips let me just tear this down Oops. Oh my goodness. What is going on? Just line that up there. Now what I'm going to do with this, I mean this is very simple, I'm going to actually back it onto some book page just to make it a little bit stronger. It is printed on 120 GSM, I don't know how many that pounds that is, but um, it is fairly robust paper but it's not cardstock. going to glue that on there and then trim it down Okay, I love that. Let me 
just making sure that I can feel a bit of glue on that side. I'm just making sure it's not um, too sticky. And I'm just wondering... I don't think, I probably don't need to put anything anything else on there. Um, so I would just clip that. Oh wait, I might stitch it first. I'll just stitch down this side just a second. stitching there now where's my page gone so I would just literally I could even put it that way I think I like it there put that there I'm just gonna move these things Oh, just turn your volume down if you don't like the same thing. my thread out bit of a flippity gibbet today oh my goodness so I think part of my anxiety the last few days or loss of mojo that always causes me anxiety like when I, I like I could collage away but like what what am I going to, my question to myself was, what are you going to make? And, um, oh my goodness, today is the day that I can't thread it. Um, but the other thing was I had built up a list that I needed to go to the supermarket. And because, as you know, you know, we can't get into the supermarket that easily. They're not that, the ones that I can go to that I'm allowed to go to, um, I can't go to the really big ones. Um they're not in in my council they're in the next council not they're like 10 minute drive but they're not in my council so I'm not allowed to go so um so what I would do with this one is I would actually I'm going to tear it down I would just fold this in a pocket because it's it's big although let me just see when I tear it down what happens let me just see. But I would like to keep the information about it. So I wanted to see. If I tear that down. Um, yep, yeah, so I had to go. I, I was really needing to go. That We were down to our last bits of loo paper. Um, and we don't have a shortage of loo paper. It's the difficulty doing the shopping because, you know, 10 people are allowed in or 8 people are allowed in at once. And so... Um, and so it causes causes anxiety um, going to the supermarket. Actually, this is nice and big. This, could, this is the perfect size. I'm going to make that into a journaling card. And I've got this lovely piece of paper here from that other book. It's really nice. And I'm going to put that on the back. And, um, and I'm, I'm going to just uh, keep that little bit of info about it, I think. So, yeah, so it's the anxiety of... Um, you know, knowing that when you go, if I wanted to go to my regular supermarket, my next best one after the big ones that's near my home, it took me two and a half hours to do a 10-minute shop. 
you know, I mean, I filled my trolley, but I was so organized, as I've, I mentioned in the other video. But there are people just that's, you know, they're using the, the supermarket as their outing for the day. And they just go in, go in there and muck around. And so I just, oh, just the thought of it. So um, anyway, then, then, so then my mother-in-law actually came over yesterday. She wasn't supposed to, but she did. Um, because we got meat from Steph's cousin from the farmer and so they dropped it off at their place up in the country which was the grandparents place but they're not alive anymore and and then she went up and picked it up and she's allowed to go up there because well maybe not but she I think she's allowed to go up there because there's animals like there's a you know dogs and cats that need to be fed so um she picked up the meat so she brought it over for us so we've got a bit of meat and we don't have to go to the um, butcher and so I was telling her oh um, that I, I was feeling anxious that I had to go to the supermarket and she said oh well I just went there's a bodgy supermarket between us and her it's little so there we go we've already got an instant um, journal card and we could do a little bit of collage on the back just to make it interesting um, yeah so she had she had to drive past that supermarket to get to her place and so she said well I went past before and I noticed there weren't many people there she said I'm gonna when I drive past I'll ring you and um it's tiny that supermarket and I don't think that they police it very well um how many people are going in and everything so um and they don't have everything but it's it's not bad and so she rang me and she said there's no no line outside you better get go and go and do your you know the shop best shop that you can so i did and i got lots of stuff off my list so i was really happy and of course that just makes the anxiety go away doesn't it right so i wanted to put this down if it if it doesn't look nice i won't do it it's very brittle 60s paper What are you stomping about, Lou? Yes, I do like that. I'm going to put that right there. And so we've got exactly who it was. Vittorio Capaccio between 1450-1525, Madonna with Child and Saints. And then it tells you where the museum is, where it is, which museum it's in. Great. And then I will stitch around that, but I won't do it right now. So there we've got an instant journaling card and I've kept the info there, which is great. I really like that. I'm very happy with that. It's simple, but I like it. So we'll put that and that's going to live in there. I think it fits. Yes, it does. Oh, isn't that lovely? Maybe we'll have their faces peeking out at us. Oh, I love that. How nice is that? Okay, we're done. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> no. Right, next. What's next? inspired by the renaissance so i had these well these are going to be simple these are going to just be made into journal cards so i just back those bye bye um i'll back those um with paper so we don't need to do that on video and this one this one is very big so what you could do and you'll probably all scream at me but i think i might make some journaling cards out of that can get two nice tall long journaling cards somewhere i will have to put keep this because i like to keep the information about it love the colors in this and it was very typical at that time um they like in the mid and well he was uh, young in the mid 1400s but um in the mid 1400s they started to put a window behind to give you a sense of space so um, yep, they would have the, the window behind. I love that. When I studied, I'm going to keep the bird on that side. I'm kind of going to tear it in half. I mean, it is a shame to tear it. However, it's a shame for it to sort of sit in a black and white book too. That you don't really, it's not really like a, a coffee table book, is it? That you're going to sit and look at. So I think it's more fun to have it, um, have them as tags than, than have them sitting in a black and white book but that nobody's interested in looking at because you've got to get through all the black and white. 
Not that I've got, I'm against the black and white pictures, but um, you know what I mean. Got to get through that to, um, to get to the pretty pictures. So what will I do here? Oh gosh, she's got a long name. Hmm. I might make that into a little bit of a something as well. Right, now what will we back it with? Might trim it down to that size. I think that'll be nice on the back. So where's my glue book? Got too much stuff. I'm surrounded by too many things because I want to use too many things and I probably won't even use half of them. I mean, this is very simple what I'm doing. I'm not doing any, it's not rocket science. It's just um, creating different elements. Oh. And I think I'll trim it off in the bottom on the top because this paper has the border on it. Okay. Well, first of all, let me trim down the side. I could have collaged something over the top, but it's a very tall tag. Just make sure I get rid of my white. Oh, I like that. Um, where did my thing go? So I wonder what I could do with that. I wonder if I could. 1504 it was painted. I guess I would have to tear it. I'm just thinking I could. And I could attach that there. Would that be weird? I'll tear that little bit off too. Okay. I'm thinking I'd like to put that there. I will be stitching around it, but I'll just put some glue for now. Oops. Oops, very crooked. So you could write on the back of that too if you wanted to. And then down there, will we put something just to, I don't think I want that one. It's my page, I'm at risk of losing that. Um, just trying to see what I've got here. The other one with that because you can write on there. I'm getting distracted. I need to put something down there. I could put a bit of washi tape. Let's see what washi tape I've got. Oy. Let me see here if there's anything. Oh. Um. Probably something a little bit like that, maybe, no. Or maybe that one. Oh, I've got two of those. Won't cover it completely, but just a little bit. Okay, put 
those away. Yeah, I like that. And that's going to be on that side. So I'll put that aside. That will need to be stitched. And then I was going to put this on the back of this. And it will need to be trimmed down. And let me see, what do I want to trim down? Okay. Move it over just a little bit. Okay. trim this here because that's nice and clear I think you could write on there and if not you can just look at it so that's another tag made from book page okay now what else did I want to do do I think so I've got this probably need need to make a nice pocket to put those in I can go on facing. Oh, wouldn't that be nice? That could even... Oh, how about if I were to attach that there like that? That's cool. That could attach there like that. And flip. Oh, yes. Why not? So what would I... How would I do? What do I want to do there? See, I could make that into a tuck. That would be a tuck. be a tuck so if I stitch that around there then it's done yes okay I'm gonna do that got to move, oh got to move all this stuff out of the way I'm nearly falling off my chair I've got Jaff's kits all around me on the floor Honestly, I love the Renaissance. It's not hard for me to make a Renaissance. I'm going to start from here just to continue the stitching theme. Where's my, oh, my train? I've got my cutter on the floor under my foot and I'm pressing that to, to sew. And I don't want it, I want, don't want my crease to be too, I just want to make sure it's fairly straight, probably crooked, because I'm not above it. Does that look right? It's probably going to move. Because once I stitch along the bottom, that's it. I'm probably all cringing. There we go. sense that I haven't stitched around my my this my my taggy thing so I'm just going to stitch around that now which way will I start I'll start from here yep not a problem And 
was if you were to feel like this 60s sort of paper was um, fragile or anything like that you could um, put some washi tape there together quickly didn't it so that's like that oh it didn't do too badly now I need a spot for my other one this one and I need I will stitch around that but I won't do it in the video so I need to create somewhere for this to sit just move that out of the way and um, now that would not let me just well, I've got some that I ripped up yesterday. Here we go. They're double ones, but I just wanted to see. Well, um, so you could create a pocket like that where you can see Mary. However, it's not quite wide enough. I don't think, is it? I, want, I could very carefully stitch it. I could trim this down. So that's going to be it. But I need to see what other envelopes do I have. It doesn't have a window. That window is not very tall. I need to use the double one. But the problem with the double one is they overlap the windows. Well, let's just have it. Let's cut this one. See, I, I have to collage on there. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do... Oh, actually, it's not a problem because I'm going to... I'll lose that window. I'll lose that window and use this one. And I'm going to just collage on it. You're probably thinking that's a very bad... <laughs> it's in a very bad condition. It is. But we'll fix it. Okay. So let's see, what do we have? We need to use bits and pieces, as usual. Now let's go here, very appropriate if I were to find some nice um, Florentine. Oh, here we go. I, as I said it, here it is. So we need some Florentine paper. And that's not very straight, just a minute. Right, so I like the torn sides. I like to be able to see that. So I think I'll put that there. To something across there. I don't think I've got anything in my rubbish there. I don't want to lose too much of my window. Okay. 
Okay. Put that there. You might have a little piece of Okay, and then what? We need something else. Pavement? No. Oh, I love this. this is my last bit of that paper. It's too much. Oh, here we go. Here's some medieval mirage. This might be nice. Maybe the writing part. I can't remember what kit this is from. It's just a scrap. Oh, why don't I use one of these scraps? I don't know if this piece is going to be big enough. Let's just see. I have to get that off. Nope, let's get another piece. That's it. I think I'll put that there. And where it's um, missing a piece there, I'm actually just going to put a little bit of something. Yeah, I'll just glue that there just to make sure. I hope everybody's well. I haven't asked anyone that. I hope you're all well today. Oh, and I need to trim that. That's very crooked up there, too. Look at that. Very crooked. There we go. That's better. That'll do. And then I needed to trim down this. Now, where will I trim? I think I'll trim it on that side a little bit and then a little bit off the other side. Just a tiny bit. I don't want to lose my dirty down there. Will work. I hardly used anything that I pulled out. Got all this stuff. Put that back. Okay. So I would stitch that there. Oh, look at that. It's going to be perfect. Good. Okay, but however, what have I got on that side? Can I stitch that? I can't. Okay, what I'll do is I will glue it, but I will stitch around it so it looks like it's been stitched. So just bear with me one second. I'm using the sewing machine.
Okay, so that's going to go there. So I've stitched all the way around it. Um, and I'm just going to stick it down with my PVA glue around three sides. Just run a little bit along there and along there. Okay. So I haven't stitched around the tag yet. And I haven't stitched around the one in the other page, but I can do that off camera. Just let that dry a second. And we'll slip the tag in there so you can see it. If it doesn't fit, I'll trim it. It does fit. Look at that. How cute is that? I don't want to push it down too far because I haven't um, let it dry. Okay, so that's going to be super cute. So there's the, the first page with the big... Now, why won't that come out? There. I could trim it down. No, it's fine. I don't know why it wouldn't come out. Then we've got... I oh, love that. And then this flips. Which I really like that too. And if you're worried about that um, hinge here, um, because it is you know, fairly old book page, um, you just put some washi there or on that side. And then here. Now here... Um, I don't want to put anything on there. That's just going to be a little tuck spot to put something in. But maybe we could put something here. Now, in, I love these. I'm wondering, I would cover a lot of the, if I were to fussy cut those, I would cover a lot of the, the writing space. You don't want to, even though you can you, you get your writing space back when you, I like that. I could, would even just attach that there. I do a little bit of stamping behind it. So you are losing a bit of writing space, but um, this is the stamp I want. Um, but you can um, put a journaling card in there so you get writing space back. So for it, which way is the right way? This one. I better check that. Yes. I don't want too much, so I'm not putting it on a on a thing. I just want to do it in a very random fashion. Just a little bit. There we go. That's all I want to do. Oops. And then I'm just going to stick that right there. It's going to be very pretty. Just to add a little colour there. So that would be the journal page done. I haven't um, made anything for that pocket, but there would be those journaling cards. Maybe I could do something interesting with those. So you can't see much of the stamping, but that's okay. I might just put a little bit more up there. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so that's the journal page. It's got journaling card in there to tag like this is a flippy out tag um and we could put something on this page just a minute it's not like you're lacking for writing space there okay could carry over a bit of this There, maybe. I say maybe because you know me, I could change my mind. Oh, I know. What about these? I forgot about these. I forgot about these.
So with these, I just printed them with my inkjet Epson EcoTank printer. And then I got, I know I told you when I when I showed the kits. Um, and then I had, um, I think I might just put that there. I really can't see it. Can you maybe I'll put it? Oh, I like it there. I'm going to put that there. Um, um, yeah, and then I just had a little spray bottle, little squirty bottle. And I um, just sprayed it with tea once. And then I, um, and with tea or coffee solution, whatever you like. And then I hair dried it very quickly with the black hair dryer. And then I, if I wanted to, I, you know, um, spooned on a little bit of tea or coffee on there and then dried it again quickly so it did run a little bit and it became a little bit blue um i did this when i yeah before i released the kits i did that and um but i really like it how it turned out and i think that's lovely there and i don't think i put anything there i think that's enough okay and then that's that and i don't think i need anything else there uh, so, where did I put that image? Oh, here. These. Now, what we could do... These are the beautiful flowers painted by um, Botticelli, Botticelli with, in The Birth of Venus. And I'm thinking that could be fun. And now, they look like they're upside down because they were, they're floating. They're not... Um, yeah, they're floating. They're flying around in the painting is what they're doing. Now what I thought I might do with this Okay, I'm going to back it. Oh, bye-bye. Um, I'm going to back it with some paper. Let's see if we've got any paper that is kind of writable. Mm. Let's see here. Well, that would be pretty. That there. I could put it that way. Why don't I put it that way, even though they're meant to be the other way? So they look like they're going the right way. Yes, I think I'll put that in, on the inside. So let me just glue it. very fitting using um, the last kit that Steph did because it's um, mostly flying. It is Florentine actually. And that was right before we got locked down that we took all these photographs. That weekend when, when um, Codogno had the big, all of a sudden had all these cases that you know from from twin from two actually to 20 to 79 to 100 and something in three days and we came back on the 23rd of february and then lulu i don't uh yeah lulu's school was shut um straight away because um in the northern part of our region um yeah that's gonna be good um they were right, they're kind of bordering with the the main town in um, Lombardy where it sort of exploded. So um, so yeah, I'm going to fold that now. What I want to do now, I'm making a little book lidy thing. It's quite thick because the quality of this and um, old book is it's quite thick paper. And then I put it on this. It's 120 GSM. And I think I might round the corners. Okay. Uh, 
And I want to see, I want to put something down here. I think I might like to put a little bit of just torn fabric. Let me see here. I mean, this is just an old pillow, but it's very nice. I don't know if it's like, I think it's a cotton, but it's a very fine weave cotton. It's very, very nice. And so I like to use it for this sort of thing. It tears very well. It's a good tearer. And then I need to... There's a lot of movement happening in my house. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. What movement? Why are we moving around so much? So I'm going to put some glue here. And I will lose a little bit of my flower on the other side, I think. But I like the look of this. Just a little bit, only a tiny bit. And then I will stitch down that. Actually, I need to, I don't want that. Okay. So I'll stitch around that and then inside what do we want to do inside I didn't pull out much from the evil marriage did I lovely tags. Anyway, we won't use those now. I don't think we can do it all. Maybe we'll put something on the cover, on the front. Just thinking about it. So, not these. These are all too big. Just wondering, what about an maybe an R for Renaissance? It's kind of funny there, I think. No. I don't mind it on the back. No, I don't like that on the front. Okay. What we could do is we could, um, you could put little transparent pockets in there and it could become like a little place to put some labels or some little fussy cut things or something like that. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it for the moment until I think about it. So, and that will just tuck in there. That can tuck in there. Maybe I'll tuck it in that way. So I will, I do have to stitch around it. So I think that is it for today. So we've done a Renaissance journal, well, Renaissance journal pages, because there's four. So we've got this nice big tag here that doesn't ever want to come out. Hello. Oh, there's something sticky there. Okay, there we go. And I need to stitch around that. And, oh, I like that. I forgot about that. Yep, so that's in there. And then uh, we've got, I love this, this pocket here. Oh, and I bet, oh dear, I've glued it in. I need to take it out, take it out so that dries. Yes, so there's that pocket and that goes in there. And I need to stitch around that. And then that flips out. There, love that. And then on the back, we've got a little bit of stamping, just a little bit of medieval mirage, and that will slide in there. Could decide to put it somewhere else. 
and um, I need to stitch around that and decide that could just be somewhere nice to put a photograph and write in there or something or you could add as I said you could add pockets and it could be a place to keep ephemera I thought that was cute and those ones I might make into journal cards for something else so there we go so that is my project today I hope that was okay for everybody and I hope you're well and I will see you again tomorrow bye